What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Quick video real quick here. Let's see if we can clean some seats on a golf cart. I just bought a clapped out EasyGo RXV golf cart here this past weekend. The seats are terrible on it. Now, this is gonna be an inexpensive fix. There may be better ways to clean seats, maybe safer ways to clean seats, okay? Um, I'm gonna be replacing the seat covers anyway. So I want to see if we could clean some seats and clean the mildew off of it very cheaply with just maybe spraying something on them and not doing any scrubbing at all. Let's go over the golf cart real quick and I'll show you exactly what I mean with the seats here and just show you how bad it really is. So here are the seats, right? Got a bunch of mildew here, the black mildew. It's got some dust on there, dirt on there. This bottom seat here is broken. It's just a clapped out EasyGo RXV, okay? And I bought it for the channel. I really wasn't gonna make a video on this right here, but I've seen some other people asking about cheap ways to clean seats. Well, so let me show you a way that I kind of stumble upon on cleaning seats here. All right, so this right here is the pool essentials. This is the chlorinating liquid, and it has 10% of sodium hypochlorite. The more sodium hypochlorite, the better it'll work. So this right here is made for pools. Most of the bleach you find on the shelf only has like four or 5% if that. So this has 10%. This right here can be had at Walmart for around $5.97. I did not have a spray bottle. So I had some of these spray bottles empty on the shelf. I'm gonna just use that on today's video. What we're gonna do is we're gonna fill the spray bottle up halfway and fill the other half with water. I want to spray it on the seats and nothing else. I don't want to do any scrubbing at all, okay? We're just gonna spray them on the seats, see if it'll work, and see if this right here stuff will work. If it does, then well, you know you can just run to Walmart. This right here is in the garden section at Walmart. Now, like I said in the opening shot here, this might not be the safest way to do it, but if you have some old seats here, maybe an old roof, you want to clean it without doing a lot of scrubbing this right here might be the way to do it so let's go ahead and get this right here mixed up i'll show you exactly what we're going to do once you get the top off for the first time you have to lift and peel basically this is bleach now what i went ahead i went ahead and put this right here bottle on the back of the carry-all got a small funnel i try to pour it here I think we're going to do that here on the carry y'all. I got my pressure washer set up. I've been hitting some houses around the neighborhood. Uh, some people asked me to pressure wash, so I've been doing that. I'm going to go ahead and get this right here cap back on the bottle here. And I use this same stuff to pressure wash houses with. All right, I'm going to fill the rest of it up with water here. All right, so I went 15 ounces with the chlorinating liquid, filled it up rest with water here. And we're just going to take this and spray it on the seats here and see what it does by itself. So let's go ahead and get started. Maybe I need to adjust this some, yep. See if it's starting to work there a little bit. This stuff smells just like bleach. Just a stronger dosage of it. You can already tell it's starting to work there. I believe the, uh, the more uh, chlorinating liquid that you put in here versus the water, uh, the faster it will work. I'm gonna spray some more on there. Like I said, it's cheap down here as well. You can already tell it's starting to work better on the seat down here compared to that black spot right there. Now we're gonna let this right here do its job. We're gonna come over here to this roof over here. 
and do some parts of the roof as well. Okay, just sprayed it on there. Let it do its job here. Let's come back over here to the seats. The seat bottom looks a lot better. This right here back, see? See over here where it's already starting to crack and everything? Perfect uh, seat to try this on. You know, I wouldn't want to try this on some, some nice, uh, you know, seat covers or anything like that, but some of these old, you know, golf cart seats here would be perfect. Look at that, I mean, that looks day and night difference between that black there. Put some more on here. I wonder if we don't put some Dawn dish soap in here as well. It would help it stick to the seat once you spray it on there. Versus that there, I think it looks pretty good. Look over here on the roof. Compared to that, that looks a lot better. Let's go ahead and do this right here side because I'm gonna have to do it anyway. And this right here, spray bottle, highly recommend this right here. I'll put a link to these right here in the description below if you guys are looking for a spray bottle. Uh, I love these. I uh, usually buy like a multi-pack when I buy them. Uh, they're just easy to pull back and it's got a very wide stream of, um, of spray once it's spraying out, so it's pretty neat. So, let me go here. Looks a lot better. Seat looks a lot better. I'm just gonna load it up. Remember we're doing about 50% water, 50% um, chlorinating liquid on this first one over here on the left hand side. And that's what we're doing there. I'm gonna go ahead and dump the chlorinating liquid and everything out. And I want to fill it up again with just chlorinating liquid and do it on the opposite side. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to do this all on camera if I can uh, and try to dump it out where the dogs uh, don't get into it. I don't think they'll mess with that. That don't smell good. I don't think you'll mess with it. All right, so this was 50% water, 50% chlorinating um, liquid. The other side, we're gonna do a 100% mixture on it. Let's see exactly what it looks like here. Let's see if it works any better. It should work better. You know, I think the seat bottom works the best because it's not having to run off. Like on this back here, you know, since this vertical is running off, down here it's just sitting in place. So 
It's one good thing about having project golf carts. You can always experiment with different kinds of things and see what works and what doesn't. So, so we're gonna come back to that in just a minute. Now, you can already see some of the lines down here from where we sprayed up here. So let's uh, spray down here some more. I'll tell you, well, let's take it one step further and try it on the old fence panel, see what if it does anything here. Check that out. That completely just changed the look of that, didn't it? That's, this right here must be what those guys on TikTok are using that's spraying the fences and it's you know changing colors before your eyes. And it's just removing the mold and mildew. Look at that. I'm not even cutting here. Just chlorinating liquid is all that is in a bottle. Straight, you know, out of that uh, bottle into this right here spray bottle. It's cleaning a fence like that. So you see where I've been trying other different experiments down along this fence here. This fence is probably 17 years old, if not older and uh, go back there and you can shoot it off with water. I think it's gonna rain, looking at all the clouds here, but um, go back there and shoot it off with water. And then it's not gonna stay unless right here forever. You probably have to come back after it dries with the water and everything and stain the fence, but that's one way to clean a fence. Now, let's see what the seat and everything is looking like. Oh yeah, straight chlorinating liquid looks a lot better since it's not watered down versus that side over there. See there? Down here looks looks good as well. I'm gonna spray some on there. And tell you what we'll do is come over here and we'll do the rest of it as well. I'm just about out, but like I said, this bottle was $6.00. And I'm gonna tell you, it's it's very spicy. It's very, it'll burn your nose. So this right here top's looking a lot better at the bottom there that we did that. But if you have some old seats, like I said, I wouldn't recommend doing them on anything newer like that right there. But if you have some older seats, that's right here, that you don't mind spraying this stuff on, well, hydrogenating or chlorinating was it hydrogenating? Where did that come from? Chlorinating liquid. You know what I mean? From uh, Walmart. It's five bucks. Seems to clean it pretty good. Now what I'm gonna next I'm gonna thing do is I'm gonna get the water hose, bring it over here, and I'm gonna spray it off next. And see exactly what it looks like once we get it sprayed off. But uh, yeah, I need to move this charger. So this right here is a project that we're going to be doing on the channel coming up soon um everyone says please get an arc or everyone's been telling me get some easy goes i've got an easy go that i have not picked up yet i found this one this weekend uh it runs now it's got a couple of year old batteries in it and it really needs to be cleaned up you know the seats broke um and I think it needs an encoder bearing in the rear axe or rear motor. Berkeley, Berkeley, get down. Come. He thinks we're going for a ride. 
Uh, anyways, so this right here is going to be some some videos coming up uh, in the future, but not right now. I got so much going on right now, but let's get this water hose hooked up and see exactly what it's going to look like once we get it sprayed down. All right, guys, I'm going to just warn you before I start spraying. He loves water, loves chasing water. See him, he's waiting for us to uh, get this right here going. He's probably going to be all in the shot here. That's just a dog game, though. Now like I said, a lot better. It's not perfect, but like I said, this golf cart here has been living outside before I bought it. And uh, this is, I wouldn't say pretty rough shape, but it's really dirty. Uh, this top here is from a DS that we're doing on the channel right now. I have not showed you the top. I got it uh, off of the golf cart when I got it, but see how dirty down here at the very bottom. We didn't spray down here at the bottom right. So, anyways, that's the deal. I'm gonna go ahead and try to maybe hose off this RXV a little bit more. Maybe spray the batteries out, not exactly sure. I'll pick you back up in just a second though. So here's the deal. It's got the Jake's knuckles on the front of it and uh, I went ahead and got up with a buddy of mine today and he's sending some stock uh, spindles out. So we're gonna take the lift kit off of it. I'm not gonna run a lift kit on this right here. I kinda like these uh, RXVs without lift kits. I don't know. I know everyone's got an opinion about that, but I kinda like these without lift kits. Plus I do not like the way spindle lift kits are. So we're gonna be getting rid of that anyway. The headlights are gonna go obviously. We're gonna redo the seats, you know. I'm gonna probably get rid of the wheels and tires part locally on Marketplace or something. Now he gave me some uh, 23s, some good 23s to go with the golf cart when I got it. Uh, and I think they were used when he got them, but uh, he gave me those as well. But this right here is another platform that I really don't have a lot of experience with. And I wanted to get it to maybe try to build some experience with, but anyways, the chlorinating liquid from Walmart, we were able to clean the seats up a little bit here. It looked a lot better when we used all of the liquid versus 50-50. The seat base looks a lot better on both sides. Uh, the top looks a lot better as well. On, you know, even when we did 50-50 or straight, you know, it looks a lot better. So if you're thinking about, you know, trying to clean the top or plastics or something like that, you can do that with we did not do this bottom right section here i didn't have any more i'm not going to mix any more up but the fence my goodness check that out that's crazy okay and um you know from weathered to this right here i wanted to show you that as well but that's about it for this quick video um yeah i want to show you the rxv i got and cleaning the seats real quick Hey, buddy. How you doing? And then, um, yeah. But anyways, we'll catch you guys this week. Appreciate you watching.